Larry King, the award-winning TV and radio host who became a household name alongside his long-running CNN show Larry King Live, died Saturday morning at the age of 87. With profound sadness, Aura Media announces the death of our co-founder, host, and friend Larry King, who gave up the ghost this morning at age 87 at Cedar sinai Center in Los Angeles. King's official Twitter announced Saturday morning. No explanation for death was provided, but King's death came weeks after it had been revealed that the 87-year-old host was battling coronavirus. For 63 years and across the platforms of radio, television and digital media, Larry's many thousands of interviews, awards, and global acclaim stand as a testament to his unique and lasting talent as a broadcaster. Additionally, while it had been his name appearing within the show's titles, Larry always viewed his interview subjects, because the true stars of his programs, and himself as merely an unbiased conduit between the guest and audience. Whether he was interviewing a U.S. president, foreign leader, celebrity, scandal-ridden personage, or an everyman, Larry liked to ask short, direct, and uncomplicated questions. He believed concise questions usually provided the simplest answers, and he wasn't wrong there in belief. King has battled other health problems over the years, including prostatic adenocarcinoma and type 2 diabetes. In 1987, he suffered an attack that required quintuple bypass surgery, and in 2017 he underwent surgery to urge obviate the malignant tumor in his lung. Earlier this year, two of King's adult children, son Andy and daughter Chaya, died within weeks of each other. Despite the tragedies, King continued to release new episodes of his YouTube series Larry King Now, with the foremost recent episode premiering fortnight ago. In May, King also announced plans to enter the planet of podcasting. The Brooklyn-born King began his career within the late 1950s as a newspaper journalist and Miami DJ before expanding his radio repertoire to celebrity interviews and sporting event commentary. In 1978, King launched his nationwide Larry King Show broadcast, which he continued to host even after his Larry King Live TV program began airing on CNN in 1985. Equally adept at interviewing celebrities, politicians, conspiracy theorists, psychics and other newsmakers, King's CNN show aired nightly from June 1985 to December 2010, with guests ranging from U.S. presidents and Putin to Frank Zappa and Prince. The Associated Press estimates that over the course of King's career, the host conducted over 50,000 interviews. Donald Trump was another frequent guest of King's decades before his presidency, with the important estate mogul even hosting a 25th anniversary special dedicated to the host. During a resurfaced clip from a 1987 interview, Trump admitted to King he had no desire to run president and criticized the policy of then-President Reagan. King won two Peabody Awards for his broadcasting work and was inducted into the both National Radio Hall of Fame and therefore the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Following his exit from Larry King Live, the host moved on to Larry King Now and Politicking with Larry King, which launched in 2012 and 2013 respectively. He also made countless on-screen appearances in TV shows and films, mostly playing himself, including roles on 30 Rock, Murphy Brown, Ghostbusters, Frasier, Primary Colors and American Crime Story. King, who was married eight times, also had an extended history of health issues, including his first attack in 1987. In April 2019, TMZ reported that King suffered an attack prior while preparing to go to the hospital for a previously scheduled angiogram. After arriving via ambulance, doctors reportedly performed an angioplasty to repair a collapsed artery. However, Aura TV the digital TV network King founded in 2012, home to his shows Larry King Now and Politicking with Larry King refuted the small print of that report during a statement, noting, His doctors say he didn't have an attack and he didn't enter asystole. On the morning of Thursday, April 23rd, Larry King was scheduled for an angioplasty, the statement read. Before his scheduled procedure, he experienced angina and went to the hospital early to be examined. His doctor successfully performed the angioplasty and inserted stints to reopen the previous bypass from 1987. 
He has been recuperating within the hospital and is scheduled to be released soon. His doctors expect him to form a full recovery. The statement added at the time that King was in good spirits at the time and preparing to resume work soon on both Larry King now and politicking. An interview is an interview. It's basically who, what, where, when and why. And while it's certainly quite an exalted place to take a seat with the Prime Minister of Great Britain or the President of a rustic, it's still why do you do what you do? How do you feel about what you do? What does one believe what's happening within the world? It comes right down to an interviewer is an interviewer, King said during a Television Academy interview. I never sat down with a president of the S or a world leader or head of the rustic and thought, phew, this is often the top of the rustic I have to be different. I'm still every man. What would a man within the street tell Chirac of France if you had an opportunity to speak to him?